I'm Dara Toomey from Flash to Trust in County Cork. This is Neil O'Leary and this is Andrew Heflin. Uh, we're, we're all in TY. Uh, we, we are doing a project on the effects of pseudomonas fluorescence L321 on Barry Crop Yield. For our project, we decided that we would use endophytes to treat bacteria to help solve world hunger. We were always aware that there was a huge problem for world hunger, but we didn't think it was actually as big as it was. We decided to use pseudomonas fluorescence. So this is, not, this is a natural bacteria. We got this from um, elephant grass. It promotes the growth of a plant and it, it makes phosphorus more accessible to the plant by releasing acid which solubilizes uh, the phosphorus. We grew the barley on Dara's farm and there was no tradition of growing barley here. We allow, laid out an area of 15 metres squared and spread it around up to kill off existing grass and weeds and we then ploughed it at a depth of 23 centimetres. We then had to power harrow the site to level the uneven surface and we took the pH of the site. The recommended uh, pH for growing barley is 7 to 7.6. So we limed it at a rate of 3 tonnes per he hectare to a pH of 7. Uh, we then repower harrowed the land to mix the lime in the soil. We then had to erect a vola crow net over the barley as crows would attack the barley and they could get rid of all of our barley seeds and ruin our project. We also had to erect a uh, fence around the barley as rabbits could also attack the barley. What we found really was that the barley variety planet should always be treated with the Indophyte Pseudomonas fluorescence L321 because it greatly uh, increases its economic value and it scientifically and statistically increased its value. What we really found was that it increased its value by 416 euro per hectare so that's about 2.3 tonnes and 16%. So really in conclusion what we found was that our study is one facet to a multifaceted solution to world hunger.